case you didn't know that you have all of me and I belong to you. Yeah, you are my everything. In case you didn't know, I'm crazy about you. And I would be lying if I said that I could live this life without you. Even though I don't tell you all the time, you had my heart a long, long time ago. In case you didn't know, everything that I am belongs to you. You can have all of me. There's a person in the Bible named Samson. He was one of the strongest men known this side of heaven. And he allowed himself to be tempted through a young lady named Delilah um, to give up his secret to what made him so strong. And in that, she used that against him to be attacked, captured, and put in captivity so that he could no longer defeat any of his enemies. And it put him in a position to where he actually found himself in on the height of his life, being the strongest person known down to the weakest, most defeated, depleted emotionally and physically person on earth in his days of living. But we see hope in his story because of how he spends his last moments. It says here in Judges 16, Starting at verse 28, then Samson called to the Lord and said, Oh Lord, please remember me and please strengthen me only this once. Oh God, that I may be avenged on the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson grasped the two middle pillars on which the house rested. And he leaned his weight against them, his right hand on one and his left hand on the other. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines, then bowed with all of his strength. And the house fell upon the lords and upon all of the people who were in it. So the dead whom he killed at his death were more than those whom he had killed during his life. As a warrior, he had killed many people. The place where I would love for us to focus is when he says, Then Samson called unto the Lord and said, Please remember me and please strengthen me only this once knowing what that meant he was saying lord i know that my strength at the end of the day comes from you and in this moment lord basically i love you i need you i give you everything the main thing that i can submit and give you is my life so take it take my life and along with that all the things that hold me captive that are keeping me from being who you want me to be, who you called me to be and created me to be. That's the same thing that Samson uh, was trying to process, I believe, throughout his whole journey. And that could be the same thing for some of us. We can be strong-minded, strong-willed like myself, and we can find ourselves with so much strength that we forget we need the Lord. And then sometimes we can be in a weak state, whether it's physically from a sickness or just depression or just the lack of understanding of everything that's going on around us. And we have to find ourselves in a place where we need the Lord. I also strongly believe that even in the best season of life, there are things that have us captive and keeps us. It keeps us from fulfilling and living the life that God has called us to. But just like Samson, we have the ability to surrender and say, Give me the strength that only you can. Restore the calling that only you can. Give me clarity of the calling that only you can. So I die to myself. And when we die to ourselves, everything that has us captive is released and it dies with us. And then we find ourselves standing or running in the lane or with the strength restored and rejuvenated or a newfound strength because of God the Father and what he can do and what he has called and created us to do. What's in your life right now that's holding you, Captain? If it is you, do as Samson did. Say, Lord, please take this life. Take me. I give it all to you. You are my everything so that you can be as strong as the Lord has called you. Sometimes we have to, and I encourage you to think of it this way. Die to yourself so that everything that is holding you captive and keeping you from being as strong as the Lord wants you to be in his will and his way. You can release it. You can let it go and you can allow the Lord to speak his truth and his strength into you. 
I hope that this blesses you guys, and I look forward to ending our week tomorrow with Days 4 Morning Moments. You guys have a blessed day.